Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Mixed Mowers and in today's episode it's going to be part two of the Mountfield lawnmower. That's one I stripped out completely um, ready for a spray, uh, spray job. Um, it's all stripped out as I say, uh, it's on a bench and I've just started doing some grinding work to it to try and get as much of the paint off as I possibly can. So without further ado, let's get down and dirty and let's check out how this Mountfield's getting on. Right, this is where we are so far. I started the sand down inside. That's now nearly ready for a paint job. I've got a bit up here to do. And the top side I've started, but I'm gonna struggle because some of this paint is really good, but some of it is, uh, is shocking. I've just been scraping away at it uh, in places where it will come off. But uh, I'm gonna struggle to get all of this paint off unless I use some form of um, um, paint strip or something, but it's got, it's got like a plastic coating on it um, rather than just a normal spray can or, or spray. It's like, it's like it's been um, dipped in like a, um, a melted plastic form, that's what it feels like. Um, but I'm going to start to um, do the underside first. So a bit more grinding to do. Um, just been using my cordless drill with this, with this um, wire brush just to get most of it off. And then I'm going to amorite paint that up first. Uh, probably just amorite black it so that's all nice and done and uh, when I've done that I'll come back to you and you that'll be that bit finished and then I can start tipping over and work on the top side okay so that's the uh, the deck now done nice and blacked all done it's had about three coats it's not actually dry it's been it's been overnight and it's still not quite dry it's still tacky but that's just because of the temperature in the shed um, but it will go eventually, so I'm overall happy with that. Completely covered and all treated, so that looks brand far and new, which is good. Next thing I want to do is turn the lawnmower over on the deck, and this is where my next issue is going to start: um, is getting the the paint off of off of the deck itself. Um, it's got like a plastic film on it, not like a standard a standard paint job. Um, so it's gonna be quite hard to get off, but I'm gonna try and get it all off if I can. Um, it'd be a shame just, just to treat this one area and then over spray it, because there is dinks in it everywhere. So I'm gonna pick up some flappy discs. I've got to go to doctors in a bit. I'm gonna pick up some flappy discs and um, I'm gonna hit it with one of those or several of those to try and bring it back to its, uh, to its base base material and once I got to uh, to that sort of stage I'll, uh, I'll come back to you and then it'll be ready then to treat for rust and uh, to hit it with an undercoat so I'll go and get some flappy discs and I'll come back okay so that's what it's looking like at the moment um, I went and bought some flappy discs and it certainly picked it up better than what I was using Still got a few bits just to do. These aren't too bad, but they'll be sanded back. And there's a bits in here which I just can't get the disc in. So I'm just gonna try and get a bit of paint stripper on there eventually. And uh, just try and knock that back. So there's a bit of white spirit. <clears throat> just to try and clean it up best I can. I don't wanna leave it as bare as this overnight because uh, it'll start to rust with the moisture. And it's quite a nice day today. So I want to um, give it some rust treatment. I've got some rust off. So give it some rust treatment and then I want to hit it with um, hit it with uh, a grey primer undercoat. I've got some in the old in the old shelving there. And uh, give it a bit of a tidy up. So it's looking so much better already. There's no holes in the deck at all. The deck is actually really, really good. Which is nice to see. So I've got a few more bits just, just to tidy up. I might even take these off yet, see how we get on. Because um, a few paint flakes just behind it, which are going to interfere with a coat. And uh, I think you'll agree, it's looking a bit better already. So, I've got a bit of tidying up to do. I might just hit that with my softer brush, just try and get some of the stuff out. Um, yeah, it's looking much better. I'm happy with it. So, I'll get a bit of a clean off, a bit more grinding, and I'll hit it with an under with a, a rust off, and then I'll hit it with uh, the primer. And hopefully, when you come back. I'll have it all primed up, um, which we'll see it overnight. 
ready for um, top coat. I might even give it two or three undercoats because over here in the UK you don't get a lot. In fact, you don't get an undercoat over here in the UK. You just literally get one one layer of top coat and that's your lot. So that's why this would be a, so much better. It would have a few coats of top, or undercoat, sorry, rust off treatment, two or three coats of top, two or three coats of lacquer. And it'd be protected for years to come as long as they look after it. And it's all been amorited up underneath as well. So yeah, quite happy. So once I've done a bit more grinding, I'll come back to you and we'll uh, see what it looks like with the, uh, the primer on. Right, that's now had its uh, rust off treatment put on it, which um, it just neutralizes the rust apparently. That's what it does. It's an Amorite product. I think it's called Crust or something. And it uh, just neutralizes the rust. Now where it's gone white here, there's no rust there because that's where um, it's been ground back. But here there's issues of rust. Anywhere where it goes purple, um, that's showing uh, there's rust and it's been neutralized. So it's important just to get all the all the bits covered. And that, I'm gonna leave it, let that go off. I'm not gonna prime it tonight. Um, I'll let that go off, give it 24 hours or so. Let that go off, do its business. And then I'll come back, give it a very, very light sand, just knock off any imperfections. Um, and then that'll then be ready uh, for priming. I'm gonna leave these bits here, they're quite good. Um, it is only a little mirror after all, but uh, I'm just trying to improve the appearance, so. Just by taking off um, the bad bits and then some of the gooder bits that have been taken off just to bring it back together, um, it should look much better. So I might even take some of this off the front because it's not going purple and uh, off the sides which where it's running down. I don't want it sat there. So take all that off and then tomorrow I'll uh, start priming it. I've ordered some primer in Halfords. They wanted um, for a 500 mil can, they wanted 15 quid for a tin of primer. And uh, I bought some off of Amazonian. And um, same size tin, and it's a metal car style um, product. Um, and it was six pounds, so uh, half the price. So I've uh, ordered one of them, and I'll get on to order some, some red up as well then. That is going blue now, look. There's a bit of rust in there. But that'll eat into there now and um, start to do its business. So looking good so far, let that run off and I'll come back tomorrow and we'll hit it with a primer and uh, we can then start to build the layers up nice and gently. I don't wanna rush a primer, give it a coat, wait about an hour or so, let it go right off and then uh, slowly build the layers of, uh, of red up and uh, she should be good to rock and roll. Right, I'll catch you tomorrow. So here's the um, Mountfield mower with all the um, primer coat done now. That's all now done. It's had two coats. And I'm just going to move on now to do the top coat. Uh, toolbox red is going to be. So I'll get that done and I'll come back to you. Right, and here is the last um, top coat. It's got to have the lacquer yet. But that's the last top coat um, going on. Or it's now on. So I think you'll all agree now that's picked it right up. I put a bit of filler in here. I've shorted this side, can't remember now. Better filler in there because there's a few little dinks in there I didn't quite like. But uh, that's picked that up no end. And I'm super happy with it. Um, and with the lighting on it, it's actually hitting it really well. So once it's got the lacquer on it, I'll be even more happy. Just got to sort the stickers out that go back on the front, um, here and here. Um, and uh, once they're cleaned up and got some, got some glue on them, I can then attach these stickers to it and then apply the, uh, the lacquer. Uh, but that will probably be tomorrow because I want this paint to harden off overnight. Right, and here is um, the paintwork now all done. It's now finished. I've put the stickers on as well. I've got a bit of over spray to sort out just on that black guard, but I can black that in, that's not a problem. But there's the actual, um, the sticker's been put back on. That's all been lacquered. It's had about three, three to four coats of lacquer put on. Um, and it's covered really well really 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 impressed with it it's come up lovely sitting there glistening in the old light which is nice um so tomorrow um or possibly sunday i'm going to try and get this um finished get the 
lawnmower all put back together and then I can get on and do the service on the engine because um, it will need it currently it's out of oil so I need to drain the petrol out as well because I don't want to be spilling petrol on when I go to put it all back together but uh, yeah it looks kind of cool um, I'm happy with it and uh, it should turn a pretty penny now once it's all back together so that's going to be hardened now for about two days um, just to let that lacquer really pick up um, and harden so that it can it can uh, be completely solid so yep super happy and uh, we'll get on to do part three and get this lawnmower put back together okay so that's part two of the Mountfield lawnmower now all done it's all lacquered as I say I just want to give it it's, the lacquer is dry and it's not even tacky it's dry but I just want to give it um, two or three days if I can just to go off and really harden um, and then that way when I go to put it back together if I do knock it slightly it's not going to affect it too bad um, but uh, all in all I'm super super happy with that so look out for part three um, of this lawnmower build and uh, hopefully we can get it all back together running sweet is what it was before but looking twice as good so super happy I have just got to spray the side just like some side wing bits on it we'll cover the roller uh, the roller cover that's got to be sprayed as well so I need to get on and do that as well but that's no biggie and uh, so yeah super impressed so thank you very much for watching this episode of Mixed Mowers hope you enjoyed it hope you found it informative any comments you know are sticking positive or negative I don't really mind and if it's your first time in watching Mixed Mowers don't forget to hit the old subscribe button and also to whack the old bell and that will give you a notification as to tell you that I've released another video until next time people don't forget take it easy <laughs>